With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello student, the problem is which has the maximum number of equivalent per mole of oxidant. So these are the following options, the option A, option B, option C and option D. So here we can see that the options are first in is zinc and then silver then magnesium then iodine so what is the molecular weight so or we can say atomic weight order so atomic weight order is here the maximum is for iodine is maximum iodine is maximum atomic weight and then silver ag and then zinc and the last is what is last magnesium so this is the atomic weight order so this is very important so here we can eliminate the options so we know that here we know we know a formula which is molecular weight by change in oxidation state so molecular weight divided by change in oxidation state change in oxidation state this is equals to equivalent weight so this will be equals to equivalent weight so from here we can say that the molecular weight is more so that equivalent weight is also more so the oxidant per mole is also greater so we can eliminate two or three options from here so which of the following is we can take this iodine this is maximum and other are this zinc we can eliminate this option zinc and then magnesium so they are I think this we can take over here these two so here we can say that this AG NO3 NO2 minus aqueous so this will give AG plus and NO2 minus so first we first of all we check over here these both two option but here we can say that these three are also wrong because this is also less than iodine so iodine molecular weight is very greater than this so three or four number of the atoms between I and AG so that's why we eliminate this option also and here we can check over here a formula we are using the formula we know that first of all reaction is the reaction given is I plus IO3 minus 2 gives I3 minus so from here we can eliminate the option between B and D so here we are taking the reaction this also only taken this part so IO3 gives I3 minus now we are solving the problem so here we are using the formula first of all what is the iodine over here which is the what is the oxidation state of iodine so we can take over here let's say X here we can take over here this is X so this is I I2 not this is I this is not I2 this is not I3 this is I2 yes IO3 minus I3 minus so this is X again we take this so I think this is X plus oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 into 3 is equals to minus 1 so X value over here is equals to 6 minus 1 is 5 and what is the oxidation state for this iodine I3 so this this is for here and we are finding for here also this I3 so for this I3 the oxidation state is 0 we know that because this is connected with only this so this X is equals to 0 over here so what is the change in oxidation state change in oxidation state is equals to 5 minus 0 so this is equals to 5 so this is the maximum because here we can say that this AG is on zero oxidation state and here this is plus one so we can take over here like this is one minus zero so one so which is greater five is greater than one over here this is one and from this iodine part this is five so we can write over here I will write this is for silver and this is for iodine so that's why I while I one or we can say this I reaction iodine reaction is greater than AG part of the reaction so that's why we eliminate this option also 
सो डी इज द करेक्ट आंसर थैंक यू फॉर क्लास सिक्स टू ट्वेल्थ आई टी जी एंड नीट लेवल ट्रस्टेड बाई मोर देन फाइव करोड़ स्टूडेंट्स डाउनलोड डाउट एंड आफ्टर डे